morning. Welcome to a new vlog. It's a busy Monday morning here. It's actually Monday afternoon now, isn't it? Yes, it is. I have my friend Lee here. Hello. And we are working on getting her socially media savvy. <laughs> she has a home staging and interior design business, which is awesome. Uh, internet skills, not, not quite where she wants to get them yet, but you know a hell of a lot more than you're admitting to. And I have Peter here from Blooming Blinds. Hello. And Peter saved my bacon. <laughs> so those are four honeycomb shades that cost a small fortune and three out of four of them, well I thought all four possibly were broken. And Peter here actually repairs them. I do. And all four of those are fixed for, well actually you only needed to fix three, right? Only three of them. For $184 guys, like come on, that's less than a new one. So. I'm gonna put his information in the vlog. I'm not sponsored. I am in fact writing, well, I just wrote a check. So uh, I just, I need to share this because this is huge. You repair, what do you repair? Uh, pretty much anything. Any window covering, shades, shutters, uh, honeycombs, full wood blinds, we can do pretty much anything. And if you can't, you can, you're licensed. I can, I can also replace them. We do pretty much most of the major brands. Uh, Graver, Springs, Hunter Douglas. Yay! Yeah, Bali, we do them all. You do them all. And uh, unfortunately, while he was here, I started shopping for new window treatments for the front of the house. <laughs> but that'll be another project. We're not gonna do that right now. But the problem is when you're sitting here with Peter and your best friend who is a uh, interior designer, you start going, hmm, wouldn't shutters look good at the front of the house? Which he does. So anyway, we're gonna get back to work. I'm gonna finally have functioning blind. And why I'm focusing on this, other than letting you know about this amazing, I'm so excited is that this is why sometimes my videos are too bright. Now I can filter the, the light out in the morning when I'm filming first thing in the morning. So hopefully my videos will be a little less bright when they're too bright. Yay! Just got back from our athletic booster club meeting and I picked up the mail and this came from Bobble Bar. The package is over there and kind of dark in here, sorry. But look, sugar fix. Okay, but look at this. Let's walk through it together. I only opened the first page, so let's read a little story. This is a beautiful beginning for your storybook ending. It's your typical day filled with countless to-dos. You peek at the clock, there's no time to lose. To Target you go at the end of the day to grab some essentials for yourself and your bae. Look it, treat yourself. There's a Starbucks card. Oh look, there's a Starbucks with a caramel frap. A sweet little treat. Cheers you up in a snap. Look, it's a, it's, a, it's a gift card. It's more than a gift card. Well, whatever, okay. And then we can read through the whole thing, but the beauty aisle beckons. You need soap and shampoo and a sheet mask for relaxing, something well overdue. It's a charcoal mud mask, how cute. Rounding the corner, you spot a host of new treasures. Home decor and shoes make two more guilty pleasures and some dark chocolate. You turn with a smile as wide as you view some chocolate delights. Don't mind if I do. I'm going to be eating that as soon as I finish reading this to you. Okay, and then you blah, 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 about to check out. You spot, star you spot sparkle and... I can't talk anymore, guys, because I need chocolate. About to check out. You spot sparkle and shine. A known jewelry lover, you break from the line. Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar is the object of your desires. And where's my sneak peek? Where, okay, so it says, shop the collection starting January 31st, exclusively at 900 Target stores and target.com, 180 styles, 9.99 to 29.99, nice price tag. Target, you can double tap that at Instagram, at Target Style, hashtag bobble bar, more to come trending monthly. So cute, need that chocolate. And then let's see what's in the box. This pair of earrings, isn't this cute? They're kind of like the pinata earrings from the main bubble bar line, but these are $12.99. They're a little different. And then this necklace, this is cute. This is $19.99. It's kind of long. It's got like a um, kind of string and then metal and colors. And then this is adorable, this little delicate necklace. And this one is, I think it's $21.99. Yeah, Very cute. Thank you, Bobble Bar, hashtag sugar fix. Very, ooh, light, thank you. Very, very cute. Um, but I'm really excited about, oh, where's that dark chocolate? It's the end of the evening and I need some dark chocolate. <laughs> thank you. I'm gonna go have some and call it a night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. So last night I washed my hair per usual 
used a new conditioner to me, the Kerastase Mask something? I mean, mask, I don't know what it's called. I haven't even had coffee, my coffee's over there. Uh, yeah, hello curls, like what? I mean, a little frizz, but wow, okay, like, I, I didn't even know my hair was capable of doing this. What is this? What is this? This is cute too, but anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say about this, but here, just so that you can see me as I normally appear without makeup, but still. So, um, yeah, I don't know. How, I don't know. Michael's like, what happened to your hair? <laughs> it's interesting, right? I like the volume, but this is not how I planned to, I thought my hair would just wake up like smooth and wavy, but no. Anyway, this is not how I'm going to keep it. Uh, so I, I kind of like it. I don't know. Curly-headed people, what would you do with this? Like, if this is... I don't know what... Like, the only way I normally would get this is with a perm. Ooh. And the dogs are up. Good morning. Rowdy. Hi. Who do you have? Ah, and Mimi. Ah. Okay, why does everything have to be greeted with jumping? Why? We don't have to do that. See, that's nice. That's nice. And I see you brought a stick in the house. Thank you for that. Let's go clean that up, shall we? I just filmed two videos and I'm so excited. I guess by the time you see this, they'll have both gone up, but I'm so excited about my Valentine's video. And I feel like I have lipstick on my teeth because I've been eating. I've been eating these. So one of my subscribers, her name is Karen, in which you will know her already because you saw the video. But anyway, I ordered cookies from her and I've been I'm saving some of them for actual Valentine's Day, but I've been nibbling on these. Oh, they're so good. They're raspberry almond flavored cookies. But then look at these. Aren't they gorgeous? Michael wanted to eat them right away and I said no. I kind of didn't even want him to know about these. I didn't want to share them. <laughs> so we're gonna share these. And then I think I'm gonna let Shane and his girlfriend, wait a minute. No, Shane can't eat these. So I guess Shane's girlfriend can eat these. And then, I'm not sharing these. These are all mine. Aren't they gorgeous? I mean, look at that. I kind of jiggled them around a little bit. Look at that, it's frosted, like it has glitter. Can you see the glitter in my blush slash highlighter? Oh my God, these are beautiful. I really don't want to eat them because they're too pretty to eat, but they'd go bad if I didn't eat them. So I'm just, I have to, right? I have to. But anyway, the mailman also came. And do you remember how I went to New York Fashion Week? Of course you do. I went um, because the brand Artistry hired me to go up there and help with their new skincare launch. Well, they invited me to come back um, for the spring show. I couldn't go, um, so they said they're so sad. Okay, they sent me a ticket anyway, wasn't that nice? But they said, but we'll send you the products we were gonna use anyway. And look at this. They sent me like a marble, I haven't opened it yet. It's like a marble themed or marble printed makeup bag. I guess the makeup is in here. A swell bottle. I've never had one of these. I've always wanted one. And nice big one. Isn't that pretty? Look at it shiny. It's really nice. Actually, um, mm, there we go. It's really, really nice. I think I'm gonna go bring it to this place that does decals and put like my um, monogram on here so no one in my family will steal it. Ha ha ha. Alrighty. Well, that was my Wednesday afternoon. Michael and I are gonna go on a late night date night wearing this really date nighty makeup, right? It's appropriate. So I'm gonna get ready for that. I'll see you later. Hey guys, we're at our movie and we're the only people in the movie yes, theater, literally, so I can do this. But I just wanted to tell you that I have this Wet n Wild lipstick on. It's still on, pretty much. I've had it on since, like, noon. <laughs> I've had lunch, I've had dinner, I've had drinks, I've kissed my husband. There it is, there it is, so cute. And um, it hasn't come off, and it's amazing. And Michael really is digging my makeup, which definitely looks better in, in dim lighting. It's a little more appropriate. Oh, it looks good at night. It looks good at night. What was meant for no, day night? No, it looks good generally, but it looks really good. It's your woman really of the good. night. <laughs> 
Anyway, no, when wild, spray, Rebel Rose buying more colors. It's that liquid lipstick. Am, it's amazing. And isn't her hair you awesome are? too? I oh. tell you her hair is good too. No matter what that cute car says. That's so cute. All right, we're my second best girl behind no. Mimi. <laughs> right, I come behind the, the other bitch in the house. All right, I am going to go watch this Sprite commercial I've seen a thousand times. And now I'm not going to get this song out of my head. Even this Okay, we gotta go before YouTube cuts this off for copyright infringement. So goodbye. Drinking out of a bottle like a big old baby. Come here, Rowdy. Rowdy. Oh, easy, girl. That's me all the way. I'm close. Good boy. Ooh. I'm loving that. Making friends with the dog park. Good job. Thank you. As I say that, he's sniffing, so yeah. who knows? Yep. Howdy, made a friend. Ooh, Sansa. From Game of Thrones. That's a great name. You know, they're the same age, about a month apart. Took him all morning, but he found a friend. <laughs> this is good. It's good socializing for both of those puppies. Yeah, so I try and get her to, to socialize with the dogs because I live right here in that subdivision. Oh, sure. Oh, we yeah, have friends yeah. in there, too. Yeah, oh, okay. So y'all live over here in this one? I am just getting my blood drawn on my way. I'm not doing it in the car. Oh, are you dropping me off? Thanks, babe. Uh, for my semi-annual twice a year blood check for my thyroid. I think it's going to show that I need my meds adjusting because my hands and feet are... I am always freezing, but you're my hands... You're too hand, cold. I'm cold-hearted. We knew, you knew that. I You've mean, known that for 23 years. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'm going to go do that. I'll just get out of the car and do that right now. Okay. And then we're going to run a couple car, errands. Car, it's Friday, so it's our weekly... We try to do a weekly lunch date on Fridays. Oh, but Dad is taking it. Yeah, and then Michael and Shane are going to Ole Miss this evening to go see Jake. So it's girls weekend. Actually, that's probably not really all that exciting. But um, anyway, so I'm not going to film me getting my blood sucked out, but I'll see you when I get out. All right, blood has been drawn. Unfortunately, out of two arms, first arm was not cooperating. Then we went to CVS where I got $8 and extra bucks, woohoo! Which is good, because I know exactly what I'm buying. I want to get the new Butter Blush from Physicians Formula, but they were sold out at this store. I picked up two more Wet n' Wild liquid catsuit lipsticks. I got, what did I get? I can't read this, Nudist Peach. And I got, this color that actually goes better with what my outfit. Very recognize. Lighting's not great, but I'm excited to try those. I'm sure Michael's just quivering with excitement over this. Then I picked this up from e.l.f. This looks new. It's from their Aqua Beauty line. It's Molten Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Rose Gold. Could not resist that. Give that a shot. It's a liquid eyeshadow wash. It's supposed to also be cooling. Then I saw this at the Rimmel display. And it was hard to pick which one I wanted. It was between this one and London Calling, but this one is called Keep Calm and Wear Gold. Gold Girl, hello. No, but there was a couple of matte shades in here that looked more appealing, and it looked a little less cool toned than the other option. So I picked those up, and all that got me $8 in extra bucks, because I spent over $8 on a Rimmel product. This was like $9.29 at CVS. And I spent, I think, over $5 with Wet n Wild, so I got another $3. So, cha-ching, go turn that. And Michael got a travel Shane. toothbrush for Shane. And then this is for you, or him? Mm, it's for me. Michael picked these up for a snack on the plane, Bark Thins Snacking Chocolate. With almonds. Dark chocolate almonds. See, I could do without Part chocolate. Of. If chocolate were banned for life, I'd be fine. And then, this is definitely for you. No, oh, gluten That's free? That's for me. Pretzel crisps, gluten free. I actually prefer to eat gluten free. I actually like it a lot. Uh -huh. It digests easier for me. Okay. I think it digests easier for everybody. Paleo brand can 
Okay, get we're not. On that. Oh my god, you and Billy O'Brien. <laughs> Should I, I be worried? Should I be looking at her? She makes the YouTube? best food in, in YouTube world. You've never actually eaten I've it. I've seen pictures of it though. I need to probably. That's 95% of it. I will say I'm the presentation it. is excellent. I'm into it. All right, now we're going to where, Michael? Tell the people. Uh, we're going to what used to be Golfsmith, but because they're in bankruptcy and we're purchased. <laughs> you by didn't do your part, Mike. Dick's Sporting Goods. They're now Golf Galaxy, which is a division of Dick's Sporting Goods. You tried very hard <laughs> personally to keep Golfsmith out of bankruptcy, I think, but it wasn't enough. I did everything nice I could try. do, but it didn't work. But in any event, the store physically is still there and it suits my needs. Then we're getting lunch. I'm then starving. We're going to get some Asian food at Pei Wei, Pei Wei. which is the poor man's P.F. Chang's. Remember that catchphrase, poor man's oh P.F. Chang's. But P.F. Chang's is okay with it because P.F. Chang's is actually the holding company that owns P.F. Chang's. And P.F. Chang's, obviously. Yeah. Okay, we're bouncing. We're bouncing. I like I like I like Payways. Started as PF Chang's, yes. and they realize, hey, we can make this for the masses. But I like Payways menu better. I feel like there's more options. Better than PF Chang's, right? Yeah. I think you're kind of right in some ways. We got it on video. You said I'm right. I'm gonna go with that. That's where we're ending this right now. All right. I just want to mention that I'm wearing the Wet n Wild catsuit lipstick in Rebel Rose. And catsuit. Uh huh. And it's worn off a little in the middle, but I just had lunch, sucked up a whole bunch of water through a straw. That's pretty freaking impressive. I've had this on for, I have no idea, because I don't know, it's um, 20, I've had this on for three hours. And I ate a full lunch, like, pretty cool. Also wearing the um, Neutrogena Tint Hydro Boost Tint Foundation stuff. So, um, didn't post, like, when I did my little haul, it was not a full-on review, so I didn't give you guys, like, a how does it wear, how because I was just putting it on for the first time. So, I'm letting you know now how it goes as far, and I did a kind of an extra heavy coat, because I wanted more of a foundation effect today. And my nose is running, because we have high allergies. Yay! Fun living in San Antonio in February. Woohoo! Good weather, bad allergies. 72 degrees morning. Yeah, I know, I know. A lot of people watching your vlog. <laughs> you are under like two feet of snow. Way under the freezing zone. But you get a trade off. You get beautiful weather, but then you get plants that never die or go dormant, so you get allergies. It's a toss up. Good morning. It is Sunday. I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday, and I did that on purpose. Michael and Shane are in Oxford visiting Jake. They're coming back tonight. And, uh, been me and the puppies. And I went like no tech yesterday. I mean, I did a little Insta stories. So if you want to find me, that's where I'm going to be. Not Snapchat for the most part. It's going to be Instagram stories now. But um, yeah, I just like I washed my face but never got dressed. Didn't put on makeup. I did change my pajamas this morning. I have fresh loungewear on. How about that? Yeah. That's what Michael brought from the last trip. And I've just really enjoyed being unplugged. What's going on with my chin? I don't know. Anyway, I have a cup of coffee. I'm working on my grocery list. Mmm. The first sip is so good. I've got a load of laundry going. I'm gonna just, maybe I might take a bath. I might take a bath in the middle of the day. How decadent. Because nobody's here, it's just me and the dogs. Um, actually, that might prove impossible because Rowdy needs another set of eyes. Maybe while he's eating his lunch, I'll take a nap. Not a nap, a bath. I'm very well rested. I'm working on my grocery list, like I said, with this cozy app that I think I'm on year three of having this now. Can you see this? So you write what you need on there. And the beauty of it is that it's an app on your phone and it's connected to everyone else in your family that has the app on their phone. So if one of us is out and sees that we need milk, they can pick it up, or if one of the kids, well, not Jake, because he's not here, but if they need something, if Shane's at class and is like, oh yeah, I need so-and-so, we can put that on the app. It also keeps track of all of our schedules. That's our calendar. I like it. Like I said, I've been buying, I tried the free version for about a month. Hmm, I don't even know if it lasted that long, then I upgraded to the subscription. I think it's like 30 bucks a year on Amazon. So anyway, I'm on year three of using it and I love it and I cannot live without it. And it sends you a little email every week letting you know what events are coming up. Mm. Also, 
I'm going to do some baking today. I'm going to make some banana bread for Shane. And I'm going to make these. Yum. So there, that's my Sunday. Very exciting. This is not normal. I don't know if anyone told you, Rowdy, but you're not a cat. Did you not get that memo? This is not where well-bred Weimaraners hang out. Look at his tail. He's like, I don't care. How many? Never mind. No dance party this week. Sorry, guys. I did lunches like mid-afternoon. Um, I have an itchy nose. <gasps> Clearly, I would just wash my hair. Um, I usually don't vlog after I shower. Anyway, Michael and Shane are about to walk in, and the back door is wide open, and the bugs are going to be flying in. I just have the coolest experience. Who watches Totally Tika on Insta Stories or follows her Instagram account? Um, my friend Mallory, who you've seen on here, is like a mega fan, and she got me totally hooked. And I was watching Inst her Insta Story live, and I popped on, and Totally Tika's like, Oh, Miss Gold Girl, Marty, I know you. And I totally fangirled. Totally 100% fangirled. Tried to be cool, but I'm like, Oh my god, she was so am. Oh my god. Then I'm texting Mallory on my computer. I'm like, Mallory, Mallory, she knows who I am. It was hysterical. Anyway, um, yeah, so hoping the next time Tika comes to San Antonio, maybe we can meet up. So, working on that. You'll see that if that happens in a vlog, because that would be so cool. Anyway, so that is it. I'm going to call it a vlog right here. Rowdy is bouncing. Let's see if we can get some footage of that. Bounce. Or mall Mimi. Yep, bouncing and out of focus. Why? Why? I don't know. Oh, almost barked. Rowdy's not a barker. It's like a moaner. I don't even know what that is. You're an acrobat. He's crazy. He's crazy dog. So anyway, I think Mike was calling in. They had a fun weekend in the, no, not, I don't know where they are. Had a fun weekend in Mississippi with Jake. I'm glad they're back. It was nice to have just some peace and quiet, just me and my dog. Got a lot done, but uh, it's good to have the family back together. I think they're gonna tear up my house. All right, well, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next vlog, and I'll see you tomorrow, and I promise I will film more. I just is kind of, oh boy. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. What are you doing? What are you doing?